Goyeth, a fantastic performance from the front. Goyeth wins the Coronation Cup in tremendous style. Goyeth has the rail to help. He still leads by a length and a half. Enable is running out of time. And it's Goyeth who's going to take the Coral Eclipse. Goyeth has won the Eclipse. Goyeth has not seen another rival, and he's going to see them all off here in the Jumbot. He's relentless. Goyeth completes a great Group 1 hat-trick. Ordinarily, Dermot Weld, we'd come to Rosewell House, we'd sit down with a cup of tea and plot the horses that you're saddling for Irish Champions Weekend, but 2020 is no ordinary year, and while you are saddling a number of contenders for the weekend, it's a certain gayas is the star attraction. Yeah, it's very special, <clears throat> having been fortunate to breed the highest rated horse in the world is a great honour for the farm. This farm, we've only ever keep six or seven mares, and we bred a derby winner. And now we have bred a horse like Gayat, if you know what I mean. So we're very, very proud. Considering his price tag as a foal, Dermot, Gayat was obviously very special from the very start. We know he had the family. When he was a foal, Zukova was the listed winner. But physically, here in your farm, you've sort of always seen something a little bit different. He was always a superb individual. Great bone, we're very fortunate this is this farm is wonderful limestone land. It was exciting at the sales. It was a lot of money, but we run a commercial farm and it's a business and we have to try and show a profit. At one million, one hundred thousand. John Burgess, thank you very much indeed, sir. One million, one hundred thousand five. Thank you. This didn't happen overnight. Take me back to the Indian Ridge mare two generations ago. Well, I think it all started when there was a very nice yearling by Indian Ridge, and my mother and I always loved Indian Ridge. His potential as a broodmare sire. And she wasn't sold at the sale. She was bred by the National Stud, and I bought her. And we named her Kam Shinon. Uh, Kam Shinon is, of course, a lake in the Cumra Mountains, uh, very close to where my mother was from. She was a very good race mare, champion mare as a four-year-old. And of course, then one of her first foals was Nighttime, uh, who I raced my mother, and she won the 1,000 guineas. And she was champion three-year-old filly of Ireland. Nighttime has absolutely trounced them. Down to the line, Nighttime, big win for Pat Smullen. Great result for uh, Dermot and his mother and Pat Smullen, and a homebred, about to come Shannon by Galileo. She's 17 years of age, she looks incredible, and um, we know she's produced Zakova. She's produced five winners by four different sires, but Gayat is a different level. Well, he is. Zakova was a good mare that I trained. Uh, she won the Man of War for us in America. But as you say, Gayat is just a little bit special. He's an outstanding racehorse, and we're very proud of him. Do you think any horse in the world is capable of beating him over 10 furlongs? At his very best, no. But every race is a challenge. Every race is different. You need luck, not only in life, but in racing. And uh, this is a very good renewal of the Irish champion stakes. The French horse, you, and you've got a brilliant mare in Magical that I have the highest respect for. So it's going to be an outstanding race. <laughs>